Hello, today I'd like to uh, talk to you about the, um, some of the health testing that we do at Lakeshore Doodles. It is uh, a very exciting time uh, for us with the dog breeding because they have recently come out with a new type of testing that is done by DNA. And it gives us some real power in our program to determine uh, which dogs we should put together to, um, to develop the healthiest and strongest um, puppies in our program. In um, genetic testing, um, in order to do it, it's quite a simple process. Um, we deal with a couple of different genetic labs, which offer different tests for um, just the different genetic issues that can come up. Uh, one of our favorites currently is the Embark testing because they do such a thorough job. Uh, we just simply take a, a Q-tip swab, um, rub inside the dog's cheek on both sides for a few seconds, and then send that off to the lab with the appropriate information uh, from which dog that is. They do their testing and send us back a very comprehensive report of what they find. Now, each breed of dogs has its own specific list of diseases that they are known uh, known to be prevalent in that breed. Um, so when you look on our website, if you see maybe a, a poodle that has some testing done and a golden retriever that has other testing done and there's different numbers of testing, it's not that we didn't do um, all of the testing for um, that dog and did more for another one. It's just what is appropriate for that, um, that specific breed. Um, then there's also another list of testing they do that is, um, it, it contains 160 or more tests that are uh, things that dogs in general can get. They may not be as prevalent in that breed, but they are um, things that they can test for to, to rule out. So the thing that's interesting to note when you're um, looking at our litters of puppies, we typically will put a link under the parents' um, pictures that you can follow to look at the reports. And what I wanted to do is explain to you um, how to um, uh, identify the different information that's on there and to figure out what it exactly means. Um, each genetic disease actually has two different genes um, for each specific disease that has um, been tested for. So if a dog has um, neither gene, then they are completely 100% clear of that disease. If they have two genes for any one disease, then that means that they that dog can develop that um, you know, that issue. So uh, it doesn't mean that that dog currently has it, but it means that they do have the ability to develop it at some point in their life. Um, if it only has one gene, then that means the dog is a carrier so that they can be rated by being completely clear where they have n neither of the two genes. They can have one gene, which means they're a carrier, or they can have both genes, which means they're affected. Now, a carrier, the dog itself that's a carrier that just has one gene, cannot ever develop that inheritable DNA um, genetic type um, disease. But if that dog that has one gene is bred to another dog that has one gene or two genes, then some or all of their puppies could also uh, be affected by that disease. So if you look on our website and you see two parents that are both um, carriers for um, a, a specific disease, um, you can be assured that it would be different diseases. So um, we would never combine two dogs that are carriers or affected for the same genetic issue. So um, I'm just hoping to be able to um, clear up some of the confusion with that. Um, this testing is something that we've been doing for just this last year. And it's, like I said, it gives us such um, insight into the background of our dogs so that we can absolutely assure you that um, none of our puppies that we are um, currently producing can be um, and they, they cannot inherit any of over 160 different DNA tested diseases from their parents. Now, um, one last thing is if you happen to see um, maybe a uh, female that hasn't had the genetic testing done yet, um, we would always breed a female that if her testing results hasn't come back yet, we would only breed her with a male that is 100% clear across the board on every genetic 
genetic um, disease that's been tested because if the male is completely clear, it doesn't matter what's going on with the female. Um, he would cancel out anything that would be going on and none of the puppies would be affected with any of those um, genetic uh, issues. Uh, Lakeshore Doodles, we're always doing what we can to develop a, um, a healthier and stronger and disease-free line of golden doodles. And um, we just want to share that information with you so that you can um, have confidence in the puppies we're creating. If you want more information, you can go to www.lakeshoredoodles.com or you can give us a call or text at 585-623-0426. Thank you.